All right, we're live on both channels, uh, but I will be answering questions during the broadcast on YouTube only. Then I'll go back to Facebook, as we always do, and answer your questions. Say hi, whatever your, your thoughts are, we'll, we'll read everything, okay? So I guess I'm, I'm, my main concern, is, well, good morning, first of all, but my main concern is there's a chain shortage. We've been told there's a chain shortage, not that I'm bound to believe everything they tell me because we've been finding out some things have been lies and some things haven't been. Uh, hi from Oklahoma. How are you? Um, but I'm trying to find out why this is, I, I believe, my understanding may be wrong, but I didn't even drink this. Hold on. Mm. My understanding may be wrong, but the chain shortage is because we closed the mints due to COVID. Is that? Love you too. Thank you, Joshua. Um, I'm just trying to figure out, Jack, could you please give a shout out? Oh, good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're, um, Harry, congratulations. You have been the first person to go into the boys club. Have a nice day. Um, so anyway, hey, Bubblegum, what's up? So um, I'm not exactly clear on the chain shortage. Maybe I, it's weird because I went to Kroger's and there's a chain shortage at Kroger's. Laura, good morning. Um and then I went to Dunkin' Donuts, and they hand me four dimes. <laughs> I'm grabbing a coffee. So I don't get it. Is it just a chain shortage at Kroger in certain locations, or uh, is this just another twisted thing to annoy the American public uh, and requirements and all that? Because I, I got a jar of change in my broom, and I don't, I don't use change anymore. Um, what's interesting is I, I have the same amount uh, – Yes, I have the same amount of money in my wallet as I did at the beginning of the year. Uh, we use, you know, we go shopping for the show. We use card. Uh, I like to eat my steak raw. What about you? Um, I like I like rare, medium rare. I don't go past medium rare. No, I don't eat it raw. Some people like it. Is it called blue? Where you just you just burn the outsides. I think that's what it's called, blue. But anyway. Uh, I can eat it rare or medium rare. So anyway, um, that's a great conversation, by the way. How do you like your steak? Uh, how do you top your steak? That's what I want to know. How do you prefer chicken? I'm a medium rare guy. Mm, no, uh, I cook chicken to temperature. You can't be any less than 165. What's the saltiest food you've ever eaten, Jack? Uh, caviar. Caviar is really salty, by the way. Oh, you guys are coming at I me mean, with questions. Was that cheese salad a legit recipe? Yes, it was. Um, it became very famous and popular, too. So, uh, everyone, hope everyone's staying safe and enjoying. So, I don't know why there's a chain shortage, but I know I've heard things like Kroger has upcharged people. Kroger has put your change on your Kroger card. Uh, having a change or woman is running up to the nearest dollar and saying, it's a donation. Yeah, that's not happening. It's not a donation. I'm not, I mean, I'll, I'll pay with a debit or credit card before I'll round up. And I don't let anybody donate for me. So I put my change in a cup. Yeah, so I don't get why there's a change shortage at all. I think it's crazy. I think it's like when we, you know, it's funny. We should get rid of the penny. Uh, well, I hear we're getting rid of more than that, but who knows? Um, but the bottom line is, it's like, remember the gas shortage? Remember you couldn't get gas unless your license plate was even on certain days and odd on other days. You remember that? Yeah. Look at gas now. Hello. Boy, we've been jacked around for many years. Hey, Jack, go on, uh, go on buddy. Blessings from North Carolina. Uh, God bless North Carolina. Any good movies you're looking forward to this year, Jack? Well, I was looking for, forward to Russell Crowe Unhinged, but they keep pushing it. It's like I'm... It's like I'm running down that hallway in a nightmare, and it just keeps stretching and stretching. Now the theaters are saying they're not opening on August 21st. What are they afraid of that everybody else isn't? I mean, what? why are they completely closed? I hear AMC's going under. So, I mean, well, that was good. Thanks for staying healthy. Sorry your business failed. That sucks. Who are your favorite sports teams, Jack? I don't have any this year. I pretty much am not supporting anybody because uh, sports got involved in politics and 
Um, I'm probably going to be staying away from college football, pro football, hockey, baseball, basketball, all of it. But I have to tip my hat to uh, LeBron James, who won't put anything political on his jersey. I think that's awesome. Uh, hi, Jack. Glad to catch you. Good morning, Princess Puffy Pants. I love movie theater popcorn. You can make it at home, too. You can pop it yourself, and they have movie theater butter that you can buy and put on it. Tastes just like the real thing. A house living in Tennessee, better than California. Wow. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have so many more freedoms in Tennessee. California has crazy politicians that make crazy rules and just rule with an iron fist. I hate how you disabled comments, Jack. Sorry. But as you can see, I've already got somebody in the boys club, like the third comment of the day. Um, where did the coins go? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't even know that. I, I don't know why we have a coin shortage. Did they not have rules? Did they not buy coins? Can you not buy coins anymore? I don't know about any of that. I'm really not sure why, other than I can say, because of COVID, the mints that print coins is shut down. Hi, Jack. Can I get a shout out for my friend Ryan, who is watching from Maryland? Hey, Ryan. What's up? Uh, it's funny, people will move because of their state taxes. Yeah, there was a lot of, a lot, there was many reasons I left California, other than the people. Uh, I did not, uh, other than my friends. I, did, I love my friends in California. It, I was torn up to leave for that one reason only. So um, I'm hoarding all my coins. Well, that's what happens. If you tell America, hey, we have a shortage on toilet paper, what happens? It's just crazy. You know, I'm almost embarrassed on how we've behaved as a human race on both sides, no matter what side of any conversation. I thought PC Mac conversations were bad, but uh, uh, why can't I be consistent with my no big cookies? Most times they're only spoon edible. I have heard it was cooking time. Yeah, experiment with that. I would, I would hit it uh, a little hotter. I would look up multiple no. Um, well, no baked cooking cookies would be no cooking time. So I don't know what you're talking about. But uh, look up many recipes. See what the common denominator in the recipes is and see where you might be failing in those spots. Who's your favorite Christian artist, Jack? Um, I like uh, uh, I like Toby Mac. I like uh, Chris Tomlin. Uh, hey, Jack, can I get a shout-out from my friend? Say, so, yeah, we're not doing any more shout-outs, guys. Um, but um, we are definitely moving away from a cash society. That's fine. I mean, the only time I use cash is when I go to a convenience store and I buy a stick of gum or I buy a beverage or something. Who's your favorite Jewish artist? Okay, so that's name, – name me five – sweet, uh, sweet tiny child, name me five Jewish artists. I'll tell you which one I like. I probably won't know any of them. So anyway, hold on, I got a sneeze coming. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, you guys, I didn't have my mask on. So forgive me if I got a, a sneeze on anybody. Hey, Jack, can I get, oh, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Jack, can you do a Dollar Tree? Chili for those of us that lost jobs. Um, a Dollar Tree chili. So do you want me to make chili and call it Dollar Tree chili and I can lay an uh, inexpensive chili? Or do you want me to make a chili under $5? Or do you want me to go to Dollar Tree and buy their chili from their shelf? Which would be gross. Uh, but have you ever eaten squirrel? No, I have not. There are some vids I've seen on people eating squirrel that's supposed to be somewhat delicious. I don't know. I don't have any plans. I have tons of squirrels in my backyard, too. Uh, any travel plans? Um, I think I'm bumping the New Orleans trip. You guys know how I'm looking for uh, to do uh, Cajun food wars out in New Orleans. Um, I was saying September, but this cast on my foot, I'm still going to be in a walking boot and a cane. And uh, I'm thinking more November might be a little bit better after the election, which going to get me started with that. Thoughts on doing a collaboration with Kay's Cooking? No. Nope. We've got no collaborations coming up. I don't know who Kay is. I hope she's a wonderful person. Uh, using ingredients 
found a Dollar Tree. Okay. All right. So this is what I'll do. I'll plan. I got to write that down. Uh, I'll plan to do a... Hold on. Uh, shopping at Dollar Tree. Give me one second. Sorry, guys. Tree chilling. Okie doke. And I'll try and keep it as low as possible. So we'll get the best ingredient, the most ingredients, the best ingredient. How is your foot? It's up on the chair right now. Um, it's doing good. Uh, in fact, the doctor says it's doing better than the first one. So I'm only in this for five weeks instead of six weeks. Do you prefer buying fresh ingredients or frozen? Um, let's see. Are we always fresh? But I have no problem with frozen. People get all hung up on that. But um, I don't. Uh, you know, sometimes it's frozen. If it's a Lazy Man episode, I'll use frozen. If it's not, I'll use fresh. Good idea. We need some budget dishes these days. Yeah. Um, yeah, we do. Because, you know, um, my wife's in the same boat as a lot of you who lost their job. So um, we're in the search right now with the rest of you guys. And I know that that, that extra, what was it, unemployment bonus they were giving is about running out or has run out. Hey there. Do oh, you use the handicapped parking spaces? Yes, I do. I have a handicap sign. I use handicapped parking spaces. And I do need it because I have trouble walking. I don't think, and I mean, there's a lot of people that use handicapped parking and don't need it. I think, but if you struggle walking, getting to the store, um, uh, you, you have any type of a condition, I think uh, it's definitely a plus for them. We need to see your classic mac and cheese recipe. Okay. All right. Uh, Saeed, we will work on that. Mac and cheese. Uh, I'm doing a, um, you know what's coming up? I'm doing a sloppy joe. Yeah. You show you guys how to make sloppy joes from scratch. Um, basic ingredients, but it's not the man which mix. That's, that's like way lazy. Uh, hey, Jack, have you ever tried eating a dish called? No. Uh, but that's funny. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, I think uh, you are also the next member of my Boy Scout. Cool. Do you have a favorite beef jerky, Jack? Favorite beef jerky is teriyaki lime venison. Uh, venison jerky uh, is absolutely amazing with the backstrap. I did a video on it, too. Do you have a favorite beef? I uh, don't know. I made Jell-O mac and cheese the other night. Yeah, I don't know about that. Jell-O mac is good. Uh, never heard of that. Good morning. They are getting rid of physical money. Still, we have some currency, maybe pennies, nickels, dimes only. Here's what I don't get. If they're getting rid of money, why are they asking for coins? I don't get that. Uh, what's your favorite keto snack? Uh, crispy cheese kind of, they're like the size of wheat thins. Um, you can get the Parmesan crisp at the store, but you can make it yourself. All you do is take a pinch of cheese and lay it on a, a non-stick, like a silicone mat, and fry it for like 400 for about five minutes. Melt the cheese, gets all crisp, let it cool, get crispy, and those are really good. Once cash is gone, the banks control our lives. Uh, yeah, what what's my... I'll tell you, one of my biggest fears is, well, I'm not going to talk about that. Now, i got to be careful. Some things I talk about, I don't want to say anything that gives somebody an idea. I, so I won't comment on that. But um, do you like frog legs? Yes, I eat frog legs every 4th of July. We have, like, tons of them. <clears throat> frog legs has the texture of fish and the flavor of chicken. Uh, cards, some in the city, small currency. Yeah. I think, you know, in today's times, nothing's true. I mean, it seems like everything we hear, we immediately think it's a lie. And then we have to prove it right. It's like guilty until proven innocent because of their track record. I don't know if you guys heard, the CDC was lying about COVID cases in Florida. They admitted it. I've seen the facts. I've fact-checked it on three different websites. They seem to have been counting the flu and pneumonia cases as COVID cases, and they came out publicly and announced that once the White House demanded all the records 
of people who have passed and want to know re cause for passing away. The numbers went from 90,000 down to 11,000. So don't, you know, everybody needs to be cautious about whatever you're believing. Um, what did Snopes say? I used to believe Snopes, but they started uh, veering from middle of the road. I've been following Snopes for years. Uh, not sure if I mentioned this before, Jack, but I know, hmm. Not sure why you're bringing that up. Let's see. Sea urchin. No, I've never tried uh, Quincy. I've never tried sea urchin. Uh, why do you charge 20 for your mask? Because the manufacturer charges so much. I might as well not make a mask if I'm literally not making anything off the mask. So the company that makes them and prints them, they're one-offs. They're print-on-demand, which is way more expensive. So why do they claim so many fake COVID cases? I don't know. Why, why is the world the way it is? Why is everybody killing themselves in Chicago? I mean, killing each other in Chicago. Why do people burn down buildings? I'm not sure how that helps the bottom line at all. It, and honestly doesn't. They just say, hey, it's an excuse. Why do the criminals get away with what they're getting away with, but all the law-abiding citizens have to wear masks? So you need to realize it just doesn't make sense. The world's a little backwards. Hmm, I, I know I read that somewhere where right becomes wrong and wrong becomes right. I just don't remember where. Uh, that's real noble, Jack. Thanks. Uh, not sure what I said, but thank you. 100% lab positive tests. That's not right. I don't know what that means. Uh, I love garlic. I know what that means. Uh, I got my mother the cooking with Jack barbecue and she loved it. Oh, thank you so much. The sauce. Thank you. Um, they aren't truly reporting influenza deaths. Me personally, I think a lot of the deaths that died because of the flu, which is the bigger killer um, over COVID, I think those were uh, credited numbers that went to COVID. I think everybody, everybody who died from the cold, <clears throat> which kills many people every year, all those numbers went to COVID. That's what I believe. But uh, you guys believe whatever you want. Uh, it seems that... Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, anyone else like kale chips? Ooh, yeah, that's really good. Kale chips are good. If you guys haven't had them, be sure to season them. Salt them and pepper them and dehydrate them, and they're delicious. Hey, Jack, uh, how long have you been in the YouTube business? Since 2007. Uh, let's see here. I don't understand. Your health is bad. However, you're still eating unhealthy. Food is worse than any drug. I've always said sugar is crack cocaine. Thanks for agreeing with me. Hey, Saeed, how long have you been in? Oh, there it is. I already answered that one. Um, living in Texas or Tennessee. Um, I'm living in Tennessee. I don't know where you're living, but uh, wow, you guys are on a roll today. Uh, have you tried? I don't know what that is. Can you do a show on how to start a keto, keto diet? I uh, just, you can join a group. You can look that up. I don't need to do a show on that because not everybody watches my show that does keto and it's not a keto channel. Go to a keto channel that is strictly keto 100% of the time. I do barbecuing. I do uh, product reviews. I do a lot of different things. Can you do a show on how, oh wait, can you ever, ever eaten bugs? I've had crickets in uh, Mexican places in Santa Ana, California. <laughs> Let's see, when are you bringing back your regular barbecue sauce? Well, I'll let you guys know what's going on. So what's in the warehouse right now? All of our sauces. Um, hey, Tam. What? Can I give them details? Of what? About our company? Okay, so we're selling the rest of our sauce. We have seasoning, Jamaican jerk, and hot barbecue left. Once that's gone, um, the company is going to be up for sale. Uh, so we're not going to be manufacturing more barbecue sauce after that. So we'll be doing, there are certain clients that require a full run at the manufacturer and we'll be doing those. So like there are some restaurants and butcher shops that we still will be providing for them because they buy full runs, but we're not selling one jar here, one jar there anymore. 
So how long does it take to make curry chicken salad? It takes a few minutes. I mean, literally just throwing it all together. I got a lazy man chicken pot pie coming up. It takes about that long. It takes no time at all. Uh, can you... I'm not sure why you're asking me if I could siphon gas. Uh, what are you what are you cooking this weekend? Uh, we're doing, I think we're doing um, Cracker Barrels, hash brown casserole, and we're doing uh, sloppy joes. Uh, I just don't understand why they're forcing people to wear masks and destroying businesses for a flu. Yeah, that's that's. I understand where you're coming from. I ain't I ain't tempting fate though. Um, I mean, kind of, if, if they're requiring it, there's not, there's not much I can do. That's why my math says things that it says, but anyway, um, I'm not sure why either, but what makes me nervous is how quickly America complies. That's, that's always a concern, no matter what the topic is. And then how quickly America also kicks back. So we've been, we've been fighting for so long. We've been fighting all year. It's been kind of embarrassing how we've spoken to each other. There's no care for your fellow human. Uh, I've seen nothing but anger and argumentative. And I don't, and what that, the love we have for each other is more important than wearing a mask or not wearing a mask. You know, that doesn't matter. What matters is how we treat each other, how we think about each other. And it's gotten way out of hand. Mm. What do you think is the most underrated movie, Jack? Goodfellas. I think it should be the number one movie in the world. What are you drinking? I am drinking a sparkling ice. It's uh, flavored water. No sugar, no no nothing other than flavoring. And it uh, has caffeine in it. It has one cup of coffee's worth of caffeine in it. Did you ever watch pro wrestling back in the day? Yes. My favorite was Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, what's what? All right, Tammy screaming "Ultimate Warrior" shows your age. But anyway, uh, at least I didn't say Andre the Giant. Uh, what state are you from, Jack? From California? Uh, love will conquer the virus. That's the thing. If I could, if I could give you guys anything, I would give you guys love for each other because. Everything else doesn't matter. Nothing else matters. Love conquers everything. That was a good, good comment. Uh, let's see. Looks like beer. Uh, it's not beer. It's just because it's in a can doesn't make it beer. But um, I am making a beer coming up. I'm going to be making. It's, it's a non-alcoholic beer called. Uh, I don't know if you guys are, uh, watch Harry Potter, but it's going to be butter beer. We're going to show you how to make that. Because I was watching the movie the other night, and I thought, Butterbeer, they ordered some at, at the restaurant. And I know that at Universal Studios, they sell it. So I'm like, hmm, Butterbeer. Got to find out, is that really beer or is it something else? Well, it's not really beer. It's something else. So uh, it sounds really tasty, though. Let's see. Hello, Jack. How are you and the family today? How did Jack's wedding go? Here's my problem. Uh, I'm having a problem finding out what the real temp is in my fridge. Had a few thermometers all read. Uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to, uh, your refrigerator should read around what? 38 degrees. I think you should make ginger beer. Wait, wait. It's non-alcoholic and it's amazing. Well, maybe we'll start doing some crazy different beers that are non-alcoholic or something. I don't know. But anyway, let's see. Favorite Mexican food spot in SoCal. That was a restaurant called. Don Jose's, I have reviewed it, I believe, on Jack and the Go. Um, <clears throat> let's see. All depends on the type of love. Yes, absolutely. It all depends. But it, you know what? I'd rather see. I like to see people posting positive, caring messages. Uh, I love people talking about the charities that they support. I love, I love all that. And I love it even more today. But anyway, even though I thought about doing a food truck, no. Even as the face of it, but not actually having to work it all the time. No, I've never thought of that. Um, nobody's ever come to me and spoke about that. I could do a menu. Not a problem. I'm watching uh, some reruns of Hell's Kitchen. And uh, 
and they were doing a menu, and I'm like, that's a horrible menu. Uh, have you warmed your food? No. Uh, melted butter and milkshakes are good, too. I'm guessing it's close to that is the beer that I'm making. If you haven't already done, so please smash the like button. Thank you, Laura. And I appreciate Laura every week, always being there, watching my back. Uh, how much to buy the barbecue uh, business? Uh, you can write me privately and we'll talk about it. Uh, it's not that way out there. It's, you know, uh, but you get everything, the website, you get my book of business, you get the, all the recipes. When is Whataburger coming to Hendersonville? I don't know if it's coming to Hendersonville, but I know it's coming to Nashville. So I don't know. I'm very excited because it was here once before in Hendersonville. And it went away and became a flower shop on Main Street. Who wants to eat flowers? Uh, thoughts on the president now? Not, uh, not going to comment on that, but I appreciate your question. Do you eat your food before or after you cook it? Okay. Say, are we getting a little crazy here? Uh, I'll email you. Let's see. I need to catch. Uh, All right. Be careful, sweet tiny child. Good morning, Jack. How are you? Do you like drinking water or eating it? Okay. I'm just going to take crazy questions and put you in the boys club too because I ain't got time for that. Hey, Jack, do you butter a chicken before you stick a carrot in it? Throw some garlic butter in anything and it's 10 times better. Yeah, garlic, Timothy knows garlic is like the number one seasoning that everybody likes. All right. So basically, um, I once again, I'm still in the dark about our chain shortage. And that was the title of today's video. Uh, I'll answer any question you got as long as they're normal questions. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to be, Kevin, you want to be in the boys club. It's a little hot in there. Anyway, uh, iced coffee or hot coffee. I like both. I do iced coffee in the summertime. I do hot coffee in the wintertime, uh, depending on the temperature. Like today is in the 90s, so I'll probably do an iced coffee. <coughs> Excuse me. Butter coffee is a thing, too. I did a video on that. Uh, the bus ain't as scary as hmm, uh, they say, Jack. What was your first video game console? Uh, first video game console was... Uh, Nintendo, the old Nintendo where the door flips up and the big cartridges slide in. Do you game? Yes, I do. Do you want to play Fortnite duos? I appreciate that, Adrian. I can't right now with my hand, but I can only do, I can't do timed, you know, where I got to be quick. Uh, I can do RPGs right now. So, uh, that's about it at the moment. But, uh, I hear they're still booming on Fortnite. Uh, let's see. Okay, if you weren't doing YouTube, uh, what do you reckon you would be doing? Hold on, let me get my, my handkerchief. I'll tell you, I'd be in radio still. I was offered a radio job uh, in Flagstaff, Arizona. My my old boss from California. He told me, so if you're ever in the area, we'll talk about getting you back on the air. I'm like, no, no, no. I YouTube is where I'm at right now, and that's to me that's better. So if I wasn't doing YouTube, I'd probably be doing radio. Uh, what happened with your hand? My hand got um, it's not uh, functioning all the way 100%. It probably functions 20%. And uh, I have never really thought about what percentage works on my hand. But um, uh, it's from a stroke two years ago. Uh, the husband and I wrapped all our change and took $700 uh, to a Dollar General. I didn't realize there was a shortage. Might be all the change in people's handbags like me. Do you like bone marrow, Jack? JD, that is a great food item. If you've never had bone marrow, I went to Vegas, had bone marrow spread on crusty. This was years ago, first time I ever tried it. It's, it's really interesting. Bone marrow is salty, and it, but it's good. It's good on dry like crusty panini bread. It's really delicious. Oh, I'm, uh, why did you turn comments off? I turned comments off. I mean, as you can see, I've already put three people in the boys club already for their kind of lame comments. So there's just some mean people out there. And I don't uh, see on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, I control who 
I hear from. My friends are there. Uh, the people who are here are my friends, but not all over YouTube, unfortunately. Uh, S at do. I apologize for everybody who's heard that explanation a million times. You guys are like, stop asking him. He's explained it a million times. So I apologize for saying it again. Uh, will your hand get 200% from your mouth to God's ears? So, oh, I'm sorry. Let's see. No. no John. Hey, Jack. Uh, Jack, you could improve with feed, feedback via your comments. Uh, I get comments everywhere else. I get it via email. I get it via Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I get it all. Big fan, Jack, but sometimes it's best to ignore people. Uh, yeah, I tried doing that the first 10 years. But the last two years when they started threatening my life, my family's life, you hate, haters don't get to talk anymore. That means shutting down comments. We've been shut down for almost two years now. So that's why. Because they're just mean people in the world, and I don't want to hear their voice. And if I can control what a hater says, then I'm going to do it. I can't find you on Facebook. Uh, just go ahead and friend me. Look up Jack Scalfani, and I'm there. I have plenty of room for people. Uh, I think I have 35, 3,900 friends uh, on Facebook. Let's see. Uh, yeah, my, my, just by my name. You can look me up. You can also join the Cooking with Jack group. I started a group, not a page, because pages can be stolen. As you guys know, I lost my page. 40,000 people, and I lost it. Because Facebook let anybody come in. There's a back door. They can come in, become admin, and kick you out and take over ownership and destroy your page. That's exactly what happened. So there's a Cooking with Jack group. So you can join that. Uh, I will post that. I will post that after the show, okay? So you guys have, uh, hey, Jack, I've been watching since uh, uh, the OG <laughs> Miracle Blade review. Have you deep fried steak before? No, that's interesting. I never have. Uh picture is hot hmm. anyway i started my own cooking with jack page but my name is also jack okay okay dan <laughs> uh steaks at dollar general uh, any other canadians here god bless canada for everybody who's from canada uh wesley uh you should get a thicker a thicker skin well uh, yeah that's Okay, there are plenty of nutters on the street that own smart devices and wicked minds. Absolutely, and I've met them all. I know where everyone lives, every one of them. Uh, YouTube is not a dating site. I never said I was. Uh, you should do a fried ice cream video. Uh, I, we've, I've seen fried ice cream at Don Jose's and back in California. You guys asked me what my favorite Mexican restaurant was, but I don't know how to make it. Probably super easy. I'm not allowed in Canada because of my DUIs. I am so sorry. Uh, you should consider not drinking anymore, and then you'll be able to visit Canada. What's your favorite dipping sauce for potatoes? Don't have one. Sorry to hear that, Kevin. Do you like your steak medium rare or well done? Medium rare. Absolutely. Have you ever been to another country? I've uh, been to Mexico twice. I've uh, been to Canada. i uh, never been over, over the Atlantic over into Europe. Uh, I have two places I want to go is Italy and Israel. Uh, oops, sorry. Let's see here. Let's click over here. Have you ever been to it? This is the most questions I've ever seen. This is unbelievable. You guys are unbelievable today. I love it. Have you ever been to oh, do you inside? Jack got a run. My boss caught me watching you. Tell the boss I said hi. Uh, hi, Jack. I'm a big fan. Thank you, Sappy. Let's see. Is Sweet Tiny married? I have no idea. Uh, any more Cooking with Jack dog outfits? Yeah, I spelled something wrong on the dog uh, pet hoodie, so I got to re redo the artwork, and I'm going to re-upload it. So I just have a cat hoodie right now. Uh, Shalom. Uh, have you ever visited Iraq or Assyria? No, but I bet the food's amazing. People, some of the best food is street food. Whether it's a food truck in America or it's chicken in Mexico, I mean, it's or tacos in LA. I'm telling you, some of the best food I've ever had was off the street, not in a restaurant. Uh, let's see. Can you say hi to my girlfriend? 
Sarah, she's a huge fan as well. Hi, Sarah. Bless you, Tammy. Jack said, bless you. She says, thank you. <laughs> you guys are great. <laughs> oh, my God. I married the loudest sneezer. I, I think I'd rather have her be a loud sneezer than a cackling laugher. Those cackling laughers. Because when she's, she's very quiet when she laughs. But I'm telling you, a cackling laugher. Yeah, that was a sneeze. <clears throat> a cackling laugher. He's very embarrassing. Uh, Laura says, bless you, too. Thank you. Um, CJ, how you doing? Good to see you here. So basically, I don't want I don't want a cackling laughing. I'd rather have a loud sneezer. Uh, let's see. Morning, Jack. Uh, let the, uh, late to the party. I hope you're healing okay. I'm healing good. I got one good arm, one good leg. So as long as I can physically talk to you guys and my brain works, I'm good. I uh, bet Jack could make a delicious Middle Eastern burger. You know what? JD, give me some suggestions. That'd be awesome. I have an awesome Asian burger coming. So uh, I love doing international burgers. So if you can give me some flavor ideas for a Middle Eastern burger, uh, I will probably try to tackle that. Let's see. Woo, CJ's here. All right, did uh, uh, not the, it's uh, the yellow myth. My dad didn't sell the, as far as I know, it's up for sale, but it's not been sold. And it's Buena Park, not Buena Vista. Buena Vista is Disney. <laughs> That's what the company used to be called. Um, I don't know if they go by Buena Vista anymore. Can you say hi to my friend? <sighs> no, not at the moment. Uh, uh, the only, I just stopped in Canada. Was it Victoria, British Columbia or something? You know, one of the, our cruise lines stopped from Seattle to Alaska. We stopped in at Canada. I think it was a place called Victoria. Uh, it seemed very British. I don't know the situation with that. But uh, probably, uh, does southern U.S. get as hot as southern Australia? It gets like 120-ish. I know Arizona gets around 120 at certain times of the year. That's a rarity, but it happens. What's your favorite amusement park food? Probably, I don't know. I, I really like that turkey leg at Disneyland. They just have a great smoked turkey leg on the backside of Disneyland, right behind Big Thunder Mountain. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, have you uh, had, had kangaroo meat? No. Uh, do you miss SoCal? I miss the people only. Don't miss the politics. Don't miss any of the other stuff. I am starting a seasoning hot and barbecue sauce business. Any advice? Steve, contact me, friend me on Facebook so we can talk personally. Um, you know, I, I can give you some good advice. The do's and don'ts. I've done everything wrong. I've done some good right stuff too. So uh, contact me privately so we can talk, not here on the show. And I'll give you whatever I know. I mean, the one thing that bugs me the most is no matter what I did in life, nobody was willing to help me. So I'm willing to help anybody start now. That's why I did the YouTube series, how to get started on YouTube. Uh, I help people start their sauce business, their jelly business, their pi uh, pickle jar and stuff. And, you know, whatever it is that you do, I'll, I'll help out any way I can. Are there any amusement parks on, in Nashville? Um, there used to be. Used to be Opryland, but uh, not anymore. We go to Dollywood over in uh, Knoxville or Gatlinburg, a little bit further than Knoxville. Hey, Jack, I love your content. Glad to see you doing well. My man, my friend, Adrian, really loves your content. You should do merch. I do. There's merch under every video. Do you ever watch any of my videos? There's a merchandise shelf right underneath each video. Uh, what is, I have masks for sale. I have pet hoodies for sale. I got hats for sale. I got a blanket, stickers. I mean, plenty of merch. Uh, where can we duo on Fortnite? <clears throat> Not doing Fortnite right now. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's put you in the boys. Club. There we go. I love raw oysters. Okay. Remember, if you're in South, was it South Carolina? I think it's the Oyster Factory. I did a video on that. They have a happy hour special. It was like $6 a dozen. 
raw oysters. Unheard of. I must have ate like four of those. I think we ordered like four of those at the table. They're so good with a little Tabasco, a little lemon juice. Just slurp it right down. What? Yeah, if you don't like oysters, they have a shrimp special too. They don't put it on the menu. They don't tell anybody but the locals that at happy hour, shrimp, and I've told everybody. <laughs> and uh, at happy hour, you just ask for it. They have a dozen shrimp also for $6. Uh, love your playing with your food series. Yes, dash more. I promise more is coming. Uh, working on that. Sorry, join late. How is your foot? Carl foot doing good. Thank you for asking. Uh, will we get an NFL season or will the virus cancel it? Don't care. Even if we get one, I'm not watching. So, you know, uh, just personal reasons. And uh, my mouth is watering now, Jack. Sorry, bubblegum. Yeah, I know. Oysters for life. Are, they're the best. The best oysters are from. Uh, okay. So here's the deal. Have you guys ever had fat belly oysters? They're deep fried and they're like the belly. Uh, I think they're fat belly oysters. I can't. I'm almost. I'm trying to remember. Uh, I will send you an email to info I give me foods. Or you can friend me on Facebook and I can call you if we need to talk. Or I can get your phone number. It doesn't matter. You should make tilapia. Uh, I have made tilapia, but tilapia was like cod to me. It's, it's a really flavorless fish. And it's probably the most inexpensive fish there is. You know, one of them. How do you decide what your videos are? Whatever excites me. If I see something that looks amazing, I'll check it out. <clears throat> it excites me. What was I looking at? Let me, hold on. Let me go to my phone. All my ideas are on my phone. Uh, where was it? Who was I looking at? Nope. I'm going to go to my website. What was I? I was looking at a recipe and it looked so good. I'm debating whether I'm doing it or not. Oh. I was looking at Beef Wellington. Beef Wellington. I love Gordon Ramsay. He loves Beef Wellington. Talks about it all the time. You see it all the time on his shows. Beef Wellington, this, Beef Wellington. I think I'm looking, I'm working on a lazy man version. Not the classic Beef Wellington, kind of smaller ones that are easy to make. So we're working on that. Uh, that's how I decide my videos. If something's popular in the show I'm watching, uh, let's say I know a girl who watches the Gilmore Girls, and I guess they had some recipe moments where it popped up. Or if we're watching a Christmas movie on Hallmark and they're doing a special dish because it's a cooking movie, you know, um, I will attempt to try that. Those I have to be excited over an idea, you know. I know a lot of people like Cracker Barrel's hash brown casserole. We're we're going to be doing a breakfast night with hash browns. I thought. Why don't we just do the video? I try and combine the two things that we're serving for dinner, okay? Um, and then try and make it a video out of it and then have it for a meal. Um, but I know some people that we have coming over, we're doing a breakfast night. So they're probably getting served hash brown casserole. So anyway, oh, my foot. Ah, sorry, got to keep moving around. Uh, it says something that I can disagree with some of the things you say, but still a big fan. Yeah, that's fine. I, people disagree with me all the time. But polite, you just got to politely disagree. You don't have to be nasty, rude, disagree. Nasty, rude, disagree, I don't need. I can get that on my Facebook thread. I can see people all day long. All I got to do is look up somebody. It takes me two seconds. Hello, Jack. Hey, uh, the, the Angel Tears 99. Uh, let's see. Okay, so anyway, um, it's, I have tons of people that disagree. I don't, have, I don't have all Christian conservative friends on Facebook. No way. I have a group of people that will disagree with me every post I put, every post. But I, but I care about them. It doesn't matter what they think. I know they're good people. So I, I, you know, I keep them as friends. You know, we may not agree. Um, uh, fish on a sandwich, Jack, what do you think? Hot fish sandwiches are the best. They have, you know, where you go to, there's a hot chicken place right around the corner called uh, Big Shakes. Uh, hot chicken. 
and they have a hot fish sandwich, which is really good. Now, I've used tilapia for that because it has no flavor, so it would be delicious. Uh, but anyway, that's good to hear. So um, don't forget, there is a Cooking with Jack group now started. So go into groups, not pages. It's a group. It's a bunch of us that care about cooking and want to talk about cooking. I get questions all the time, um, not just here, but I get questions about my smoker. Uh, I have a video where I'm telling you, I did a video where I took lumberjack pellets against the Walmart Pit Boss pellets. Walmart doesn't own Pit Boss, but they're the lower end pellet. And, uh, uh, yeah, I've just been notified that the house did not sell yet in Buena Park. Not sure why you guys care, but that's okay. So my old stomping ground still is in the family, um, but they're working on it. They're, I think they're in the midst of putting in a, I think it's on the market, but they're making changes. So there's a little bit of work needs to be done and it'll go fast because it's in a prime spot. That was a great location. So anyway, um, where was I? Oh. I get these messages and I get distracted. Sorry. Uh, yeah. The hot chicken sandwich. I mean, a hot fish sandwich. You guys should try that. If you have a place that does hot fish sandwich. Deck, Jack, did you ever watch? Uh, don't know who that person is. Uh, let's see. What was the biggest mistake you made with outdoor cooking? Oh, my gosh. Okay. The biggest mistake was my grill grates video. Go back and watch my grill gate great video. My whole barbecue catches fire. I burned everything. I had to refilm the whole video. I show you, I think I show you what it looked like. It just took off. So let me explain. If you've never used grill grates, they kind of capture and box in the heat underneath. So if there's any grease, you got to make sure everything's clean down at the bottom of your barbecue before you put the grill grates in. And I didn't do that. So my grease caught fire. And it burned, I mean, it just fried everything. It was a huge, that's the biggest mistake I ever made. Uh, have you ever made stuffed grape leaves? Love Greek food, eat it all the time. I have not. My, my first wife, um, when my oldest son, the mother of my oldest son, Garrett, uh, she made grape leaves. It was one of her favorite dishes. And she'd roll it by hand and everything, but I've never made grape leaves. Uh, no, I've never had that Indian dish yet. Uh, let's see. I've been cooking things off my four-year-old pea room. It's been burning everything. Top grill brands. Well, it depends on what kind of grill you want. Kettle grills, I say go with like the Sam's Club. Go the cheapest. You, you know what? The cheapest in everyone. You want a gas grill, get the cheapest one. You want a smoker, get the cheapest one. Because the, the, the device is not what makes your meat good. The cook makes your meat good. If you don't wrap your meat, the moisture doesn't stay in. If you don't take its temperature, pull it off at the right moment, um, you know, it's not cooked fully. Uh, if you don't cool it in a cooler, you, you know, wrapped, the moisture doesn't re repurpose itself into the meat. So uh, I like dry rub over wet marinade. Uh, wet marinade should be on like a sauce or some dipping sauce or marinade. Should always be on the side. But I believe dry rub is the way to go. It's healthier unless you're putting lots of brown sugar in it. But it's healthier. Dry rub allows you to be healthier. And then people who want to dip their in the marinade or the flavor, they can. But if you put it all over the meat, you're screwed. It's already there. Do you grill melts the side of your, on your hand. Did your grills yell? Yeah, when I first moved here, that was, I didn't pull the barbecues far away enough and we do have melted marks on the side of our house. But you know what? The house is still standing, doing good. So we'll have to get the siding replaced. That's all. Draw, let's see, what's your favorite superhero? Ah, favorite superhero. Uh, favorite superhero. I don't know. I mean, I've always been Batman, but which is weird because Batman doesn't really have any powers. You ever notice that? You know, they see the Batman or Superman. I've always been Superman can, there isn't anything he can't do. I mean, it's just, 
And I just think he's the ultimate superhero. Uh, I did that on my back shed, almost burned it down, almost burned down my kitchen with French fry grease too. Guys, safety, everything. Lazy man's Tazaki, is that Tazaki? Um, I'm, I'm going to be doing some Greek dishes. Hey, Tam, remember us talking about that? We are going to make uh, a Greek salad, and we are going to make uh, tzatziki sauce. Show you how to make that. Um, so, like, if you buy, like, a euro, we may even do a euro video. I don't know. Or, or um, um, what is it? Shawarma. I think. Does anybody know the difference between shawarma and euro? That's a great question. I don't. I couldn't tell you right this second. I believe it has to do with the breading. I believe a euro has a thicker pita. I don't know. But there's euro, or maybe it's the meat. I don't know. You guys would know. I've learned so much off of you guys, you have no idea. I've been using my Calvin 3000 for smoking my meats. Any smokers you recommend, Jack? Uh, Syed, I recommend you get the smoking tube and put it on your barbecue, and you can smoke that way. You don't need to buy a smoker. You can smoke for four hours. You don't need more than four hours. And that tube's only 30 bucks, maybe 35 bucks. But for those of you that don't have a smoker and want to smoke meat, the smoking tube is the shortcut. Go watch my How to Do a Lazy Man Smoker. Smoked eggs are good. I did smoked eggs. I have a devil, a smoked deviled egg recipe. Go watch, you can go, guys can go watch that video if you want. Uh, we smoked the eggs for 30 minutes. Uh, the eggs really absorb the flavor, and smoked salmon's good. Uh, also, the smoking tube lets you cold smoke, so you don't have your grill on at all. Just put a big block of cheese, light your smoking tube, and walk away, and come back, and it'll be the best cheese you ever had. Love my acorn smoker grill. That's a good one, too. You can use a smoking tube on that, too. Um, my only problem is I don't like the vent game. That's why I use pellets. I let the machine maintain my heat for me. So when it gets too hot, it drops it. When it gets too cold, it raises it. And um, I must admit, you don't get as much flavor doing it that way than if you do cooking with wood, uh, doing the vent game where you got to control the vents and get the, keep the temperature at 250. I'm not into that. That takes like a half hour. You got to keep going outside, go outside, go outside. I also don't like, Pellet smokers that use just a, few, a little tiny uh, bunch of pellets. I don't go for that either. Oh, my God. What's your favorite Mortal Kombat character? Um, <laughs> oh, what is your favorite Mortal Kombat character smoke? No. Um, Luke, what was it? Luke Kane? No. Mortal Kombat character, honey. Calvin Hobbes wasn't in Mortal Kombat. No, it's all good. The vent game is tedious for sure. It is an art form of patience. Now, there are devices you can buy for the vent that will control your vent, and you don't have to mess with it, but that's that's over the top. Uh, playing with the vents is half the fun. People like to do that. I'd rather watch TV and have my phone go, bleep, 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 bleep. Uh, your meat is done. Come pick it up. I'm good with that. You know, that's like going to the drive-thru, ordering at Panda. I would like this, this, and this. And they're like, okay, pull around to the front, come in and cook it. No, I don't want to do any of the work. I just want to pick it up at the window. Yeah. I don't know if that's how you spell it. Oh, Scorpion. I lied. Scorpion was my favorite. Okay. Everybody, Scorpion is the one who, who, who would stab you with the chain and go, get over here, right? Uh, I absolutely think that the best cut of meat from a cow is the ribeye lock land steak the ribeye is amazing i love i love short ribs i love the ribeye you can order panda at drive throughs yeah panda our panda has a drive through uh but that was just an example of joke uh i wonder what the smoke pellets taste like on their own not gonna do it not going to do it. Good try. Trying to get me to eat pellets. I'm not doing it. Um, hey, bubble gum. I wonder what rabbit pellets taste like on their own. So anyway, uh, I, I really enjoy your videos. You're really amazing. I sometimes drool saying the amazing recipes. 
Shahid, thank you so much. God bless all of you for showing up and hanging out with me. Uh, do you like driving movie theaters? Uh, I used to. I, I still kind of do. Very nostalgic. I do once a year. Um, oh, okay. So I just got a link to my old house. <laughs> um, I'll have to post that if you guys want to see it. But, uh, but I will be posting the group. It's Cooking with Jack group. You can join that. And in the meantime, I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, Tomahawk steaks are good, too. Um, I've gone way over time, and I apologize. I know you guys have uh, – I don't know if I like the Apple Watch. <coughs> anyway, I have some more Tech Time videos coming up. Um, we have a few planned, and we got more Jack and the Ghost coming up. Uh, we got more of everything coming up. So – What? <laughs> Oh, yeah? Okay, ladies. There's any ladies here. Um, we're going to be doing this thing that you shave your legs with to remove the hair off your legs permanently. Uh, very excited to film that because I know a lot of ladies. Oh, Rohan, how are you? Yeah, Rohan, we just did your recipe. We just filmed it. The recipe was amazing. So I took one bite and Jack Jr. ate the rest. I got one bite. I love my son. So anyway, um, uh, Rohan, thank you very much. Uh, your recipe was through the roof. That was the best part of the whole video. Um, we were doing a review on, it wasn't really an air fryer, but it was a convection oven for your countertop. So we used your recipe in that video, even though it's, and I'll, I'll title it still, uh, air fryer chicken. Uh, yeah, um, they weren't as crispy as I like. You know why? I screwed up. It wasn't you. Your recipe was amazing. I didn't pat them down as much as I should have. I didn't dry off every piece of chicken like I should have. But I see how the uh, – I don't want to give it away. I'll let them, everybody else, take a look at that. But anyway, thanks, Rohan, for the recipe. If you've got anything else, I think we're working on another recipe. Um, I'm all for it. Thumbs up, dude. you got a good palate. That is a great combination you gave me. So be looking for Rohan's video. Uh, he gave me a recipe. We're going to be reviewing. It was the Calphalon oven. Calphalon counter oven. And um, uh, Rohan's recipe is in there. So I love you guys. I will see you later. And let's hope the movie theaters stop postponing or we're going to never have a movie theater anymore. They're all going to go under. Anyway, I love you guys. And I'll, you can contact me through Facebook, email, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you need. Under every video I have is all my contact information, okay? So I love you guys. And just take care no matter what's going on in the world. Love each other. And just, just be kind, all right? All right, take care.